It is now October, and the lofty winds make bare the trees of their leaves, while the hogs in the woods grow fat with the fallen acorns. The forward deer begin to go to rut, and the barren doe groweth good meat. The basket-makers now gather their rods, and the fishers lay their leaps in the deep. The load-horses go apace to the mill, and the meal-market is seldom without people. The hare on the hill makes the greyhound a fair course, and the fox in the woods calls the hounds to a full cry. The multitude of people raiseth the price of wares, and the smooth tongue will sell much. The sailor now bestirreth his stumps, while the merchant liveth in fear of the weather. The great feasts are now at hand for the city, but the poor must not beg for fear of the stocks. A fire and a pair of cards keep the guests in the ordinary, and tobacco is held very precious for the room. The coaches now begin to rattle in the street, but the cry of the poor is unpleasing to the rich. Muffs and cuffs are now in request, and the shuttlecock with the battle door is a pretty house exercise. Tennis and balloon are sports of some charge, and a quick bandy is the court-keeper's commodity. Dancing and fencing are now in some use, and kind hearts and true lovers lie close to keep off cold. The titmouse now keeps in the hollow tree, and the blackbird sits close in the bottom of a hedge. In brief, for the little pleasure I find in it, I thus conclude of it, I hold it a messenger of ill news, and a second service to a cold dinner. Farewell. <laughs>